There we go. We're recording, just so you know. Well, thanks for giving me a heads up. Yeah. All right. Good times. Uh, yeah, so we're going to talk about the massive upcoming event that uh, started off as kind of a joke just right over there, but now is looking like it's going to be one of the most exciting tournaments of 2019. Yeah, the most. Biggest. Yeah. Uh, people were talking about the top eight, but everybody knows that the bottom eight is now the place to be. We so. now have applications for like the bottom 16 for years to come. Yeah. People are, it's just rolling in. Everybody wants a part of this and understandably so. Yeah. Uh, anyways, so let's, let's recap who we think is actually, how we think that's going to go. Okay. So Evan versus Craig, what are, what are your thoughts on that one? So I'm going to change things up on you a little bit. Huh? In the past, I've made predictions on the, the likelihood of the winner. And I haven't fared too well recently because I picked you both times in your last couple of matches. Damn. And uh, that hasn't, hasn't worked out well. And I've, my, my rating on that, my percentage, my win percentage has certainly taken a, a yeah, huge nose. Yeah, that it's too bad for because you. Because of that. Yeah, I feel bad and, for you. And my respect mm -hmm. in, the, in the sport has gone down. Man. But what I'm going to do. I feel do, bad for you about that. I think you feel bad for yourself right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my favorite. Oh, so instead favorite. of thinking, ah, so instead with of your heart, so just you're just you're just saying up and, who you like better. That's right. Who I so like who, better. Who's your better friend? Who I want to see win, <laughs> as opposed to uh, trying to analyze things and, and uh, make a proper prediction. So uh, oh. we're going to go with that. I'm going to pick my favorites, who that I want to win the match, rather than thinking who I think is a likelihood. Mm. Uh, okay, will be the winner. Okay, so you you want uh, you going with the Canadian boy? No, no, oddly. Like I'm good friends with Evan, I like Evan a lot, um, but I think the likelihood of uh, if Craig wins and Evan gets drunk and fucking smashes somebody in the audience or in the stands or beats somebody up, that's a better net result because there's more excitement to the event because mm. uh, Evan's going to be drunk. Do you think Evan is going to make it through the event without getting kicked out? Who's going to kick him out? I mean, I don't know. I don't know who can. I kick don't know him. who can kick him out. No, especially because he's probably going to have his brothers there. They're crazy, and they're drunk. They will be drunk. So, I would love to see Evan Burgoyne win every single match, but if he loses and he gets like shit face drunk and beats somebody up, I'm gonna, I don't wanna be in the end of that. But if I'm not in the end of that, I'd like to see him beat somebody up and uh, drink beers and smash beers. And I want, I want Craig Soublier, I want you to, to win this match based on that alone. Well, and, and I get you do your hard work. You're up at four in the morning. Like when I come yeah. home from work at six, I see you're posting at 4 a.m., 4.30. You and Dickie Spear are posting your workout videos. Fantastic. Good for you. It's got no bearing on the result. Yeah. So I just want Craig to win because of the chaos. I want Craig to start doing that thing where he posts Instagram pictures of his of his watch, like when he wakes up in the morning. And just that. You know, who's that? Uh, pop. Who's that military guy? He does awesome speeches. You know, he does like, he's like, he's a SEAL commander and you go on his Instagram and it's just a picture of his watch. That's the way I see Craig. You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm talking about. You're going to edit this video, aren't you? Yeah, I'll edit it. Okay. <laughs> What's the name of that guy? Man. You know what I'm talking about, Sean? Paco, Paco. If you don't edit this video, uh, I should say now before we get deeply involved in this, it's likely going to be a long one. So be warned. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I'll I'll say that um, I actually think that Craig is probably actually the favorite to win. There you have it, Craig yeah. Subli are two to zero. I think I think Craig is probably going to win the match because I feel like Evans had a significant layoff. I feel like Craig broke his other arm, and when that happens, your other arm just gets stronger. And uh, the great uh, sports analyst Jeff Slater has told me that unquestionably. Craig's just too strong. And it's just that simple. I make it a point not to argue with Jeff Slater normally. Yeah, me too. Okay, so uh, now I'm thinking, honestly, right now I'm thinking about bumping, well, not bumping, switching these two. And I'm thinking about moving Lava and Artem up to the second spot on the card. Okay. And I am going to go with the Russian kid. I'm going to go with the spy because I think he's actually Russian. That gives him a huge advantage. And I think he actually trains for arm wrestling. That's a surprise. Yeah. I pick 
the same pick exclusively because his video that he sent to us yeah. that got him in the event. I'm picking him versus every single person that he comes up against based on his, his entry video alone. Mm. You're my favorite to win this. Mm-hmm. Well, he'll be. Up I don't against, know. I've never met him. He would be know. up against if that's the way we do it. He'd be up against probably a, a maybe quite fresh Craig, who I don't even care. You could put Saplank up up in there. Um, he's the man, huh? Apparently, right. um, and I'd pick this guy against him. Jeez, even the way you're making rest. these picks are not very accurate. That's we not... picked the same on both of them. Yeah, how can you, you say that's not? No, accurate? but you picked. Artem over Dennis, which is just getting crazy. Well, I know we're not going to get Dennis here. That was you never know. Dennis wants to be in the bottom eight. He's already your dad, so give me one more year. One more year is all I need. It, Are you didn't, Matt Mass now? Didn't one Matt more Mass year. Just continue man. to say the same. I hope Matt's watching. One right. more year, and I'm cracking that guy. Matt, please comment on this video. Nineteen years later, Dennis. <laughs> That's what it's going to take. Right. Okay. Uh, Juji and the Beaver Pumper. Oh fuck! So not. I gotta look it. I just gotta go with Juji. Mm-hmm. I just. I. I mean, look it. Beaver Pumper is awesome. Like, he's. I now that's the guy I actually hope wins the whole thing. Um, but Beaver, you hope wins. Yeah. Okay. I think that'd be great. I think that that would unite every single. Pelt Trapper in the North. And probably a lot of them. Like, he, he could be the next Prime Minister of Canada, I think, if he wins. But I, I think Juji's too big, too strong, too athletic. I think it's going to go straps. I think it's maybe... I'm not really familiar with either one of them. I mean, other than just a little bit that's been come up lately. Uh, Juji's phenomenally strong. He's got a lot of uh, followers on YouTube for a reason. He seems incredible, and he's going up against a beaver pumper who's... Seemingly done nothing other than talk about himself, uh, which is incredible. That's fantastic. Yeah, I mean, it is pretty who doesn't cool. love someone like that, especially yeah. when you're talking to third person? Mm-hmm. It gives you more power and it makes you like, Dick yeah. Power. I mean, he plays with um, balls all day long, and he yeah, he, he he traps beaver and yeah. slams pelt and whatever Gobby says. I'm I'm gonna pick Juju on this one though. Yeah. Okay. So so far we are in agreement. Yeah. Straight. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. The last one. Last last one where we got an option to split. Yeah. Okay. Chris Gobby has basically insulted the entire... Is it a country or is it a continent? I don't even know where they're from. Okay. Australia, basically, versus Gobby. Is that border Germany? That's, I think it's with France, but... it's or down, is that it's, Austria? It's down there somewhere. I'm actually going there pretty soon. Oh, you got to ask me about that at the end, because there's some funny stuff going on. But, uh... Nope. Gobby versus Bowen. Yeah. And... I'm going to say it's got to be Bowen, man. It's got to be, right? He's bigger. He's like, he's bigger. He's a lot bigger. I mean, it's got to count for something. He's, he's, he arm wrestles very well. He arm wrestles very well, and he's very diverse. Are you trying to convince me, or are you trying to just make your pick? Because No, because I know that you want Gobby. I know you're going to pick Gobby, right? How do you know that? I know you're gonna pick Gavi. Uh, look, I think Gavi could do it, but I think that there's a whole lot of things that have to go proper for Gavi to get it. And one of the things that gotta go proper is Gavi's gotta somehow convince this match to start in a hook, which there has been talk of. Um, and they actually have, I think. A thousand bucks of their own money. I think. <laughs> yeah, I, I think, think so. I don't know how much it is. It's either five hundred or a thousand bucks of their own money on that match, right out of the gates. And Bowen's got a thousand bucks that he added on the fire for first place. Fantastic. That's incredible. so. I gotta go with Bowen. He's coming all the way from Australia. He bought your boat. How can you bet against a guy who's traveling across the world for a super match against a guy he outweighs by potentially sixty pounds? I'll tell you how. I'm going with my heart on this one. This has been the best trolling I, potentially ever. Chris Gobby's a master troll. Uh, Mr. Bowen is getting involved in this as well, just he's not on the same level yet. This whole group is full of incredible trolls. Gobby's master level. And you also bring up size. Okay, yes, Chris generally is a smaller man in every single super match he's ever taken. He's called a giant killer for a reason. I do not think maybe that he can 
Bowen on paper would likely be the favorite. I'm not picking him, by the way. I'm picking Chris Godby, like you said. We've been great friends all the way through the sport. We used to talk on the phone daily. He's a giant killer. He's proven over and over again. He can show up in super matches, win money, win tournaments, and be on the podium. And Bowen has yet to prove anything like that. The proving something in Austria or <sighs> France or New Zealand, wherever he's from, doesn't he, mean... Look, at his, I, I feel like he has, though. Like, I mean, look, at, I think it's great that Gobby's discrediting everybody, and it's yes. really fun. It is good, Chris. But, I mean, to say that Bowen has done nothing, I mean, is... Right, I shouldn't, I shouldn't say that's not fair. I mean, he beat, did he not beat Scott Partington? Yeah. Did he? I think he did. I think I saw him beat Scott Partington, who, like, left-handed... Beat Matt Mask once or twice or something. Like he's legit. He's legit. No, you're right. He is legitimate. Um, I'm picking. I'm picking Chris Gobby. Yeah. I have to pick Chris. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Who do you got? What does the finals look like? Artem. Everything. Artem. Yep. Yeah, based on his uh, entry video, I loved it. He's incredible. Okay. He's Russian. Uh, okay. He's taking I, this home. I'm gonna go with Bowen. I'm gonna go with Bowen. Or Craig, I'm not sure. No. I think it's going to be Bowen and Craig in the finals. Okay. I don't know. Should, I don't know. Should the match with uh, Bowen and Gobby fall into a battle of attrition, which yeah. it could have. It very because, likely will. Because Chris is fantastic at dragging somebody down into that trench, fighting with him in there, and whoever comes out of it is kind of screwed for the rest of the event. I agree. Uh, but the thing is, they're so, all... Look, at Craig and Evan are going to kill each other. Mm -hmm. um, Evan... Okay, Lava and Artem is probably not an easy match either. Right. I think Juji might come through somewhat clean. Okay. He's going to run into the winner of Chris and Bowen, who are probably a bit fatigued. That might be another slugfest by that point. But I think, I think at that point, ah, yeah. Well, you don't know either. So let me continue. I'm molested, please, if I could. So, the people with the greatest amount of endurance in this are Chris Gobby and Evan Burgoyne. And although I picked Craig Souvenir because I wanted him to win for the net result, I think Evan Burgoyne is actually going to come through and win this. And I would love to see Evan in the finals because that time he'll be like 20 beers in. That will be no, awesome. He'll show up 15 beers in. He'll let, who knows how many beers he could be in by then? The most by the finals? epic one. Dude. Yeah. What could be epic. You're like, hey, I hear you. <laughs> Well, I know what you have to say. Did you have something important. to say? But anyways, I think the winner of this will be Evan Burgoyne. It would be fantastic if it was. Uh, he'll be the biggest shit talker on the planet. He'll call out some winners like Saplankov or Michael Todd. After this, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was a shot, too, though. What? You didn't pick up on I, that. Oh, <laughs> some call, winners. Some like, winners. Like, oh, man. See, I'm, I'm sure. Getting slower and slower. Our viewers would They would have picked, up on, pick up, on picked up on that. Michael would have picked up on that. I'm just Fuck not. Fuck yeah, dude. Being, Fuck right, Michael Todd. I'm not used to that. Yeah. All so, right. Yeah, Evan. Uh, okay, so Evan's going to win. Yeah, what about the, the bottom of the bottom? Who's the who's the ultimate loser of the bottom eight? Ultimate loser. Beaver. Beaver Pumper. Yeah, I think so. Hopefully he sticks around. I don't. I've never met him. I've only seen a few videos. I, I don't know if he's got a bunch of trapping and stuff to do afterwards. But I hope he comes. If he loses, he kind of sticks around, gets drunk, has some beers with Evan, uh, maybe gets in a, in, a, in a fight with some locals. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Maybe he can share some beaver pounding tactics with everyone. Yeah. We could shoot some video with him. Uh, but the yeah, he's he's likely. Yeah, I got it. I got to Agree. I don't want anybody to leave the event. Anyone no. could get punched out by Evan. Like nobody leave. And the the the. Loser of the entire event has actually a specialty award made by Drizzler, William Walsh. Is that a fact? Yes. That's incredible. Yeah, he's made one. I'll, I'll copy a picture right here. Um, yeah, so isn't that awesome? What is it? Or is I'll, I'll show be... you. I'll show okay. you. Okay. All right. Okay. So uh, I guess really this whole event, you know, came about by us just joking around, but uh, huge thanks to the guys who have gotten behind this thing and sponsored it. Uh, Line One Nutrition, Spark and Wellness, and Magical Butter have produced the framework for Bottom Eight and the Kingston Open to happen. So thank you very much, guys. And this event, when you think about do you want to go to this event, 
think about it as being like a really great time and just an awesome day in arm wrestling. There's going to be no cover for this. No entry fee. No entry fee either to participate in the Kingston Open, which will uh, which will follow the bottom eight. Um, but uh, keep in mind that Jimmy's Sports Club is a small place, okay? There is a maximum capacity, and I am pretty sure we're going to be over it. So, uh, so come early if you want to be sure that you're in the bar. And, and you can uh, smoke right out the back door. Yeah. If, yeah. if that's your thing. Yeah, exactly. It'll be, uh, it'll be one of those days where it's like the days, the old days of the Mike Gould Classic in Oshawa, where there was like everybody was crammed in like sardines. Probably going to be the same kind of feel. So there's been a lot of people who have added extra stuff to this event that I want to mention too, just so everybody knows how cool everything's getting. Uh, Attila from Barbarian Gym is given an extra 500 bucks to the best match in the bottom eight tournament. That's an incredible payout for a best match of the day. It is. That's unbelievable. Normally you might get a, a small little plaque or trophy, or you might get $50. Yeah. 500 bucks for the best match, everybody willing to pull the balls right out to win Man. this, incredible. This is fantastic, I love this award. Thank you, Barbarian Jim. And he also is giving $200 to best match of the day in the Kingston Open. Wow. So, is the the winner get the best match of the day, or are both people they split the best match of the day? Best match, I'm thinking, will be split. Split, even. Yeah. Okay. I think so, yeah, too. Think Fantastic. So, it's 250 bucks if you show up and win best match of the day with, with someone else. That's awesome. 200 uh, in the open. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, hold on, hold on. So, it's 500 yeah. in the bottom eight. Right. 200 in the Kingston Open. Yeah. Uh, William, William Marias from Alberta, I think. I think he's actually going to fly out and be able to present, but there's a one ounce coin for the a one ounce gold coin. That's incredible. Yeah, for the winner of the bottom eight. That is fucking awesome. Yeah, along with the thousand dollars that Bowen's throwing in. You can't afford not to win. Yeah, winning is getting looking better and better. Show up ready. He is also. I, yeah. There's. We're not testing. <laughs> so show up ready. Ish. Ish. That's that's something I don't want to talk about right now. Yeah. Oh. Testing at the Kingston Open. Can you imagine? I don't think there's a person in that building who's going to pass. Well, you're still talking about it. Yeah, I should shut up. All right. Um, Will Willem is also giving a another specialty award, another gold coin. Uh, I think this thing's valued around 400 bucks or something. That's awesome. And this is for uh, the con the athlete most representative of the spirit of the bottom eight. Oh. Yeah. If he So he'll be there, hopefully. Yes. He can select it himself. Yes, he will. I don't know what he means by that. Well. But that's awesome. Here's the thing. The bottom eight, to me... What the bot and this is why we chose these people is because they are extremely passionate about arm wrestling. Yes, and the bottom eight Mostly. represents a group of athletes that has not burned the rest of their life as uh, as a token to serve arm wrestling. These are these are people who have very deep lives outside of the sport. You know, uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what he's looking at. But I think that the person who comes and represents themselves in a in a way that I don't know. What do you I think it is? I love these awards. They're incredibly yeah. unique. Yeah, yeah it's. So I want to win one. Yeah, I want to just buy well, one. You're the announcer. Nah, if I don't get fired by then. Yeah. Unless you get a better one somewhere. Well, you're. This is the bottom eight. So. <laughs> I was gonna get Neil Pickup, but right. I, yeah. It wasn't okay. the budget. No, he's. I think he's probably doing the top eight. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, this is a big thing. Mickey, and I think I'm going to say your name wrong, buddy. Uh, Mickey Lor, Lor, Lonkariev. Mickey Lonkariev. There is going to be, because there's been so much talk between Bowen and Gabby. Oh. Yeah, you know what yes. this is? No. Okay. So there's been so much talk between Bowen and Gobby, and you know that Gobby's best hand is his left. Right. Left. So, yeah, no, you're correct. <laughs> so 
he sponsored a five hundred dollars super match. Yeah, to Lucky? have yes, wow, to happen immediately after the bottom eight. Where where are these sponsors from? Where are these? People this from? is me. This guy's from Australia. So they're Australians actually sponsored. This is five hundred Australian Incredible. dollars. So that's like I think that that's like uh, eight hundred Canadian. No, it's the same. Is it that much? Either way. Is it more? Pretty close. That's incredible. Oh, is it the same? Pretty okay, close. so like... Thank you for supporting the event. Man, that's yeah. incredible. Yeah, it is incredible. So, Gobby and Blue are going to be like... They're going to have their right-hand match. They're going to have their left-hand match. Okay, so <laughs> they... So, we will know at the end of this who gets to have internet superiority for the next five years. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Oof. Yeah, so... So many people have helped. So, we're, we're really grateful. Uh, and now on to the Kingston Open. All right. Uh, so the way the event's gonna go is we'll start the we'll start the bottom eight around two o'clock. I'll post all the really hard details, but it'll be around two o'clock. Bottom eight should run till about four thirty ish, maybe maybe five. Uh, do the super match right afterwards with uh, Gabby and um, Bowen. And Bowen. The Trills will play some rock music for an intermission, and then the Kingston Open should kick off by about 7 o'clock. What? Daughter. What about her daughter? Who's picking her up? You are. Is it right now? Yes. Just pause it. We'll get it later. Can you get her? I'm making dinner. I feel like shit. I haven't done my things. Just pause it. We'll open it back up. Kingston Open. What time is it right now? 3.37. Okay. We'll finish this. Yeah. Yeah. Kingston Open is going to be run like this. I thought you were going to pick her up. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we'll go get her. Yeah, we got time. I'm not running. You go pick her up and I'll wait here. Yeah, it's fine. We're good. So, Kingston Open, uh, again, it's free. Only money for first place. Right now, we got 100 bucks for every single class. First place only. Losers it's, don't get paid. No. No. It'll be double elimination tournament, okay? And is it gonna be freedom? I hope so. It's gonna I be don't care. Whatever. They're... It's freedom. It's gonna be freedom style. I think we'll have to tighten up the rules a little bit. Oh, uh, the rules are good now. You haven't been on the latest edition of the rules, okay? But the rules are good. Like, uh, and I'll I'll post a, another revision on exactly what the freedom rules will be. But it's... to be determined, we'll see. <laughs> freedom style. Right hand, 165, double elimination, followed by left hand, 200, followed by a specialty class. Women's, when I say women's specialty class, it's going to be any current military, any serving member, any spouse of a serving member, any Military veteran or spouse of a military veteran, female, is allowed to enter the specialty class. Okay? It has two divisions. 148 and under, 148 and over. So the next match, next class in the sequence is women's right specialty 148 and under. It'll then move to the men's right hand 190. Men's left hand open women's right hand open and then it'll go men's right hand open and then women's specialty open to end up the night sounds good that's it incredible and that's our event kingston april 27th seventh, seventh, yeah. saturday get ready guys <sighs> pretty massive eh yeah what is that song? Run. It's running. What's that song? I don't know. I think run to get it. Oh, that one. 